Yo guys, what is up? It's your boy Cheese and welcome to a brand new Days Gone video here on the channel. Uh, so I do have new gameplay for you guys of Days Gone. Uh, we're going to talk about the review that's going to be done by M. Borga Lifting on April 25th. And also I am going to talk about a walkthrough that I'm going to do here on the channel. I'm seriously going to be the first YouTuber to play Days Gone on YouTube. So if you guys are new to this channel, subscribe down below if you want to see that. I also found some new features in the gameplay that I have, which I'm going to show you guys. And of course, we're going to talk about the review. So the review is going to be on April 25th. Uh, this is one day before the release of the game. The release of the game is 26th of April. Only one day before, so if you guys didn't decide yet, maybe we can just like pre-order the game one day before it's coming out. By the way, let me know down below in the comments if you guys pre-ordered the game already. I'm really curious how many people actually pre-ordered the game so far. I'm going to play literally the whole walkthrough on the channel. It's going to be super interesting as I'm going to fully play the game, upload everything, make a lot of videos about the game. I'm also doing this right now. I'm uploading a lot of Days Gone videos. Don't want to miss them. Check them out. I do have a couple of them already about the multiplayer. Is it going to be out on Xbox or PC? And also a video about the release date and all the changes of the release date in the past. What I can say about the gameplay you see over here is that you can see how many points you actually get for the kills. So you get for the headshots 30 XP and you get 20 XP for body shots. For melee attacks you also get 20 XP. This is a feature you can turn on and off in the menu in the settings. Um, what is dope about this feature is that you have feedback on how much XP you are actually getting. So if you like trying to get a lot of XP, it's easier to actually have the feedback on. But if you turn it off, it all looks much and much cleaner. So it freaking looks like a cinematic trailer. That's what it looks like if you turn it off. For you guys wondering how big the game is, the game is 67 gigabytes. So I think a lot of people are actually going to have to delete some games to actually be able to install it. I do have a two terabyte external hard drive. So I actually don't have to do this anymore. I've got like, I guess like 20 games on that hard drive and on my PlayStation 4. Of course, a way to get more storage to your PlayStation 4 is that you can actually buy yourself an external hard drive. It's only $80 and you will get you two terabytes, easy installable, and you can actually play much and much more games and you don't have to get yourself a new PlayStation. But then again, 67 gigabytes for a game in 2019 is actually, I think, all right. Like, Games are getting bigger literally every single year. We saw with Red Dead Redemption, the game was, I believe, 104 gigabytes uh, or 114 even, I believe. And uh, I even played Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and with all the DLCs, I had a total of 150 gigabytes. So 67 is it's quite all right. So I'm going to do the walkthrough of Days Gone here on the channel. I'm probably going to start with the first part that's around like 40 minutes to one hour. So you gotta have like bang enough uh, footage to watch. And after that, I'm gonna continue uploading every single part to the channel. Besides that, I'm also going to do different videos about the game. Uh, I'm going to do gameplay videos of definitely uh, give you guys more information about what is in the game. I also want to play enough of the game. I'm going to do a review on the game myself to let you guys know really early on after release uh, what the game looks like, uh, if I like it, what other down and upsides of the game, and also what you can do. Just to make it clear for you guys if you're going to enjoy it before buying it. Because I know not everyone is going to pre-order the game, although a lot of people like to pre-order games, but not everyone does it. Uh, they don't want to like spend like $60 on the game and maybe don't even like it afterwards. So of course you guys are really smart watching all these videos. So you guys are like 100% positive if you're going to like it or not. I really get that. You guys know that if there's new gameplay, I will always let you guys know on the channel with a video. Uh, I'm going to do all the new gameplay videos before the game releases. So if there's new gameplay, I'm the first one to show you guys that there's new gameplay before the release. Of course, after the release, this is uh, not something uh, people are gonna do. Uh, so uh, just before the release, we're gonna keep hyping, keep checking out all the new stuff, and of course, analyzing what we see in the gameplay videos. Uh, of course, this is one of the very first videos you saw probably in back in 2017 or 16. I'm not too sure where this big horde followed us. 
Comparing the old gameplay with the gameplay I show you guys in the videos, you will see that the graphics are much better. Uh, this The game is just so much more improved. They have been working on it for years and years and you can see it. the quality of the game is good. PlayStation is giving Sony Band more and more than enough time to actually work on the game. That's why this game is going to be one of the best games in 2018. They have kept going on for years working on this game. And they actually have plenty of time to work on it. That's what you can see. I love that they take plenty of time working on this game. If you guys do really like my videos, you know what to do. Give them a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more Days Gone videos. I've got plenty of these videos online. And there will be more coming to the channel. This was Cheese. Peace. See you guys.